Man, it doesn't take long for stuff to start rusting. I had this all cleaned up, painted nice. And now she's looking old and worn out. But what I'm gonna do, remember when I installed that Johnny joint a little while ago? And I don't like that gap right there because it didn't fit well in the bracket. So I'm gonna start grinding that out and I'm gonna cut that bracket up and make it fit properly. Besides for that, gotta rotate the tires. Got new lights from the front that were sent to me. But I gotta weld that up first before we continue with anything else because I got beer and wings today, so I got a few hours to get this done. Well, I got her out. Took a little bit more work than I thought, but the back of that bracket I'm gonna cut on both sides. That way I can knock that back in right flush. Of course, just my luck. I'm trying to get this finished. Fucking thunderstorms rolling in. But I got her in. In order to do that, the whole back side of that bracket had to be cut out. Looks like we got a rain cloud coming this way. Fuck me. You can see it blowing in from the west. I got no choice but to wait it out. Maybe it'll pass over in like 10 minutes. Does look like some blue skies just down ahead. There we go, that sucker's on there. Flush now. It was a lot of work. Cause it needed some major modifications. I should have did this right the first time, but I know now that it would have never would have fucking broke because I spent hours trying to fucking break that free. And a no chance in hell that would have fucking snapped off ever the way it was. If you're doing any welding on the vehicle, always remember to disconnect your battery. Just because there's always a possibility that if you don't, you may fry your computer. Fuck, perfect timing. Well, that settles that. I spent most of the day doing that. Didn't get done everything that I want to get done. So, I gotta go get cleaned up. Go for some wings and beer. And I'll see you out here tomorrow. We're gonna rotate the tires put those lights in, finish Aubrey's thing, then back on the 57 Chevy. Just another beautiful day, getting the smoker fired up. Gonna do, going to smoke a roast and some chicken breast. Chicken breast will probably smoke for about four hours and the roast probably close to six, maybe a little longer, but just gotta get up the temperature first. The roast I'm gonna smoke for about three hours in the wrap and take it out. Those are the chicken breasts that were frozen and thawed out. Kind of look gross right now. Chips are soaking in water. It's a nice day out today. Aubrey's just doing some maintenance on his car behind me. Tomcat thinks that he could just come in my garage. What are you doing? Are you hanging out in the garage? What are you doing? So Aubrey, I got a question for you. Uh -oh. Last night, when I was out with my friend Laura, for beer and wings, we got into a heated discussion about the raising the minimum wage in Alberta to $15 an hour. She's trying to claim that raising the wage is not going to increase inflation and the cost of goods. I pretty much told her she's a fucking retard. <laughs> what are like your thoughts? Well, yeah, it's gonna happen because you gotta pay your employees more, right? Yeah, exactly. The money's gotta come from fucking some somewhere. Yeah, so all the shit you bring in, all your food and products and shit, it's good. Things, prices are gonna go up like when you go and eat. Prices will go up. Yeah, that's the problem with these fucking liberal people. They don't have a clue. They think money comes from fucking unicorn farts. <laughs> okay? Just a minute. Hey, there's five bucks. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, she's all for this carbon tax and going green. Like I'm all for going fucking green in that too, but the technology just isn't quite there. She's trying to say that um, we could survive without coal and oil. And I'm like, really? Yeah, you go right ahead and try that. I'm like, really? Everything that you are wearing right now has a byproduct of oil in it. The technology isn't there and it probably won't be there by the time I die either.
All right, today I'm gonna to be doing a tire rotation on the Jeep with the schematic I just drew. It's pretty obvious how it's gonna go rotating the spare tire. There's many different ways that you could do this. This is the way I'm gonna do it. And this is the way I'm gonna to have to follow it in order to get all the tires wearing evenly. Still got a ways to go. Just gotta throw a little bit of beer like that. Now I'm gonna stick it back in. I gotta do that until four and then pull the roast out and just put it on the rack without any foil. Does it smell good, Tomcat? So I'm going to finish this project for Aubrey. I'm going to maybe practice some TIG welding on it just because I don't know how to TIG weld but there's no other way to learn but to practice. That didn't turn out too bad at all. Considering I've never tried to weld steel with this TIG welder, I think I may do it more often now instead of using the MIG because a TIG is definitely a more cleaner weld. Let's see what else we can get going. There we have it, busted out the TIG welder. Welded that bitch up. One more project left, back to work on the 57 Chevy. I still need some practice, but the welds didn't turn out too bad. I don't know if time to screw around, but that is so juicy and yummy. Anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. I got some caribou beer from BC, British Columbia, from my trip. Caribou Blonde, 5.5%. I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I always wanna thank you guys for watching.